Hey guys, it's Chimney Swift uh, here from the Minecraft Workbench community, and today we're going to be doing a. I'm starting a new Let's Play series um, for the game called Nostalgia, and um, it is a. Uh, it was a game created in 2009 by Silk Games, and it's a uh, a massive online role-playing game. And as you can see, there are people in the chat over here. Um, it's a NES-looking um, third-person role-playing game. So we're gonna go ahead and get, get started. I've already made two characters, Chimney and Swift. Uh, we're going to create a new character today. Uh, and I'll show you guys how to get started. Uh, this is a free game, by the way. You can subscribe and get additional content. Uh, like, for instance, here you, you create your hero. And uh, you get four categories, basically, in the free version. So you get Ranger, Soldier, Cleric, Wizard. And then subscri subscribers can get uh, Merchant, Conjurer, Ninja, or Warlock. Uh, you have to pay for that. I think it's like $9 a month. Um, but anyways, we'll just play the free version, and I'm going to pick a ranger here. Actually, no, I picked a ranger in the last two, so let's go with something crazy. Let's go with a wizard. Physically weak, an expert with powerful offensive magics. And um, let's make him look like a really cool wizard here, so you can change their head. Ooh, I like this little hat. Let's make him green and orange. You can change their body. Fairly customizable. Oh, I like the stripes. Let's do that. Skin color. Uh, accept. Then you select a moon blessing, and a character's moon blessing gives a permanent boost to several bonus modifiers. You can only pick one. So I'm going to do. Let's see. Crescent moon. Alright, so. Enter a name here. Let's call him. What do we want? What do we want to name him? Let's name him Lester. I don't know why I picked that. I think I just saw the letter L and thought Lester, so that's gonna be my guy, Lester the Wizard. Now the game starts in the opening cutscene. In comes a wizard and two guards. Paul, this is the source of the disturbance. Guard, I don't see anything. Well, now you do. Four purple things show up on the screen. Wizard, amazing, I've never witnessed such a phenomenon. Guard, um, sir, that looks kind of dangerous. I am first wizard, Lord Bal to Lord Balzac's high court. Does it look like I need advice from a lowly guard? Oh boy. Guards. Ah! Maybe he should have taken that advice, because now he's on fire. Whoa. Hey, there's me. Mysterious voice. Can you hear me, champion? I can only maintain this link for a short while, so listen carefully. As expected, the journey has diminished your power and affected your memory. First things first, though, let's get you out of this cave. Okay, so uh, just taking a look around here, it looks like I've got a uh, status bar down here where I have health points, 13 out of 13. Uh, if you start with different classes, you have higher health points. Oh, and who's this? This is Freya, level 1 ranger. She must have just started the game. So this is my little character here. And um, this is your, these are your magic points down here, and I have 9 out of 9 magic points. Um, I believe some of these uh, buttons can be used for linking up with other players. You can create clans and friendships and all sorts of stuff in this game. Uh, this button here is for uh, basically your player stats. So it tells you your primary stats, the equipment that you're carrying, um, your ranking, level 1 wizard, and the next level I guess is in 15 experience points. And um, so you have milestone boosts here. This looks like there's a lot of stuff here that you can you can look through. I have a battle ability, fireball, very cool. Let's see what this is. This is a quest log. Where am I? Main quest. You've materialized in a damp, dark cave, and you have no idea how you got here. Perhaps the strange voice in your head can help. Um, this hand looks like your spells. 
and this little pouch here is your inventory. So I'm holding a time traveler jumpsuit and a health potion. Alright, so let's work on getting our way out of this cave. Where's that lady again? Oh, turn left here, you'll find something useful in the west chamber. Alright, I could use something useful. My guy looks awesome. Mysterious voice, good. Now face the chest and press your tab key to open it. Alright, tab. Lester opens the chest. Obtain cypress stick. Cool. Mysterious voice, to equip that cypress stick, first open up your inventory by clicking on the sack icon in the bottom right corner of your screen. Once your inventory is open, click the icon next to the cypress stick's name, then click the equip button to equip it. Okay, let's do that right now. So, it looks like this person, Freya, is doing it too. That's probably why she's staying there. So I click cypress stick, then I click equip. Cool. Right, who's this? Stealth. So you can see their names over here. Mysterious voice, Arg, they managed to slip an assassin through the portal. Be on guard. Alright, I'm ready to go. She just disappeared. Oh boy, here's another one of these. Whoa. Oh, bring it, dude. Assassin, you can't hide from us, champion. Not in the... something. Okay, so it looks like here the combat is uh, turn-based combat. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click attack, and then I'm going to attack him. Assassin takes two damage. I take one damage. Let's try our ability. Let's see if we can use an ability. Fireball. Uses two magic points. Yes, let's use that. Whoa. That was cool. I don't want to waste my magic points yet, though. I might need those for later. I do have nine health points already. Dropping. Mm. Come on, kill him. Yes, assassin is defeated. The foes have been defeated. Wow, that's gonna be a lot harder if I take on uh, multiple multiple bad guys at once. Better work on leveling up. So I, after that battle, I gained one gold and 14 experience points. So let's just head north. Mysterious voice, our link breaking up out of time. Uh oh, what happened? Was Leave cave, go north town, find Crassus, help you. So looks like I gotta find this guy called Crassus. Let's check this chest though. Lester opens the chest. Obtain 25 gold, alright. Alright, so let's go up these stairs and out of this cave. If you guys like what you've seen so far and you want to see more videos on this game, um, just leave a comment in the comment box and I will be putting a link to this game in the description as well. Um, like I said, it's a free game so you guys can download it and play it. Alright, so it looks like I walked into town here. And ah, uh, the gentle music of what town is this? Let's, let's find that out first. Enner. Enner Guard. Welcome to NR Village. So we are in NR Village. And over here, looks like we have an inn. If we talk to this guy, I believe he's the innkeeper. Innkeeper, welcome to the inn. One night stay is only three gold. Would you like a room? No. I might come back some other time. So you can talk to the locals. Um, let's see. Can I talk to this guy? I have to go on around the table. He looks like an old man. He might be wise and tell us some good stories. His message pops up. Harold. Enner has always been a peaceful town, but between the bandits to the west and trouble in Balzacchia to the east, times are changing. Interesting. So it looks like Balzac is the bad guy. Hmm. So these are all online players here. And uh, you can interact with them, I believe. I haven't figured all that out yet, but... Uh, I know that this is multiplayer, so you can't interact with them. Let's talk to this guy. He looks... Balzacian soldier. My life for Lord Balzac. Interesting. I've gotten... Whoa. Cutscene. Oh, here we go. So you, when you exit the world, you exit into basically a larger world. And these are towns, so now we can walk around. And I feel like a giant right now. But I probably... Who's this?
Oh boy. I just got in a fight. Let's use, let's use an ability. Fireball. Oh boy, I have five health points. Let's try this again. Oh no, I just died. The party has been wiped out. Oh no. No, 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 that's not how it's supposed to happen. Yeah, no kidding. Bring me back to life. There has been an anomaly in the timeline attempting to recover. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, that was a mistake. I'm, uh, I should stay in our Village and learn more about what's going on. Subject reclamation successful. Initializing reinsertion. Thank you. Okay, so now we're back in safe NR. It sounds like the music is playing double. Which is interesting. Alright, so we gotta find this guy named Crassus. And I'm not sure where to find him. I thought it said north, but... Let's turn off these sounds because... That was really, you couldn't hear anything. There was two tracks of music going on. All right, so let's talk to this guy. Guard Captain, if the bandits try a direct assault on the town, we'll be ready. Well, that's good to know. So it looks like the game's a little bit laggy. Uh, the multiplayer's, you know, this is a server, so let's see who these people are. We're just in some sort of a room here. And our mayor. Okay, so we're in the mayor's building. The Balzacians demand tribute, but they won't lift a finger to help protect us from the bandits. Let's see. Um, I won't do these quests now. Those are available. I'm going to head back outside, and I'm going to look at my quest log and find out what we have to do. Answers to the north. This is the quest we're working on. It's the main quest. So before cutting out... Uh, the voice told you, make your way to a town to the north. A person there named Crassus may be able to provide some answers. Make your way to a town to the north. Do I have to go outside into like that that giant mode again? Where I walk around and find towns? Or Hopefully Crassus is a dude in this town. But we'll see. Let's go. Hmm. Well, I don't want to run around here anymore because I might get killed. So, interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's um, try this one more time. Let's go north on this path up here. And let's talk to this guy. Who's this? Looks like it's taking a minute to load the thing. Oh, uh, looks like he sells magic items. So he sells health potions and magic herbs and antidotes and a scroll of recall. Well, what about this guy in blue? Who is this? He looks important. Marcus. The bandits have been raiding our supply caravan, so I'm afraid that we only have the basics available for sale at the moment. Interesting. Let's see if we can find Krausis. Is this Krausis here? Please be Krausis. Come on, load the load the little thing. There we go. Mildred. No. Well, Mildred has a quest here. My uppity apprentice cast a spell and accidentally turned my cellar into an icy death trap. Thankfully, misbehaving apprentices make for excellent casts. No, I don't want to do that right now. I need to find Crassus. So looks like there's some lag here, obviously. Uh oh. A red slime draws near. Let's try and escape. Oh no. Well, let's fight him off then, I guess. What if I wasted my turn? Takes five damage. Better only have 10 damage because. Oh boy, I don't want to die again. Yes, Red Slime is defeated. Woo! Gain 2 gold and 1 experience. Lester levels up. 
Agility increased by one. Strength increased by one. Intelligence increases. Defense increases. Oh, you can hardly read that. Learn a new ability. Recall. Cool. This is probably a horrible idea, venturing out here. Oh, wow, there's like caves and everything. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, let's use... Let's use my health potion. How do I... Recovers. Alright, now it looks like I'll have enough... No, let's just attack. Looks like I have enough health to... fight him off. I should go back to town though and buy some, buy some more health potions. This reminds me a lot of Pokemon. The battle battle fights in Pokemon. Man, die already. Yes, Red Slime is defeated. Obtain two gold, gain one experience. All right, let's. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get back to that town. Oh no, green slime. Come on, escape. No, blocked on all sides. Oh, I dodged the attack. Ability. Fireball. Eight damage. Yes, slime is defeated. Whew. This is getting intense. I have very, very low health and very, very low magic points. So I'm back in town, and I've got to find I've got to find this guy Krausis. This is taking way too long. Let's talk to this guard. And I need to buy a health potion too. Balzacian soldier, attention, citizens! At the behest of His Highness King Balzac, all taxes are hereby increased by twenty percent. Twenty percent? Sheesh! This guy seems like a uh, this King Balzac seems like a real real bad guy. Oh, there's a chest over there. Please be Crassus, you're surrounded by flowers. Daryl, don't stray too far away from the town until you're ready. There are larger groups of monsters to the south and much stronger monsters to the west. Thank you, I found that out the hard way. I would just like to know where Crassus is. Let's see if, let's see if these guys here, they look like traders. Let's see if they sell health potions. Headband, wafers, clothes, leather armor, simple robes. Heavy leather armor, basic spell book. No, I need. I gotta talk to this guy up here. What if I can talk to that cat over there? I'll have to investigate that in a minute. Uh, HP potion, yes. Uh, that's exactly what I need. Uh, this thing needs to load. There we go. So I click that. And buy price twenty, and I only have eighteen gold. Are you kidding me? Ugh, oh, this is gonna be rough. Well, let's talk to this cat and see if this cat knows anything. Oh, I can't talk to the cat. Cat, meow. I'm sorry, Ms. Mildred. Change me back now. I don't want to eat the mouse. Meow. What? She changed him into a cat. That's kind of mean. Alright, Krasis, this, this is just getting old. This charade that we're playing this back and forth. Who's this little boy? Alien. A bunch of big mean soldiers came and took Grandpa Krasis away. Okay, awesome. Let's check the uh oops. Let's check the quest log here and see if that updated anything. No, the book is the log. Answers to the north. Alright. So they, he got scared away, huh? Scared Grandpa crosses away. Who's this? Is this? Enter guard. Welcome to Enter Village. Oh no. No, no, no. I want to go back. Oh, yikes. Okay, there we go. So now, if I come back this way, is Krauss over here? Or did he get. Is this a quest I have to, to do? Let's talk to this person here. <laughs> this is the biggest fail ever. Jeremy, my wife's father is a famous scholar. I doubt there's anyone else in all of Orechia who knows more about the long lost Luana and civilization than he. Hmm. Let's talk to this lady here and see if she knows anything about Krasis. 
Excuse me, do you know anything? Anything at all? Lily, a group of Balzacian soldiers showed up a couple weeks ago and escorted my father away without any sort of explanation. The nerve. Yes, available quests, answers to the north. Lily, you're looking for my father, Krausis. I'm sorry, but he's been summoned to Balzacia on some sort of official business. What is that supposed to mean? I can't even get to Balzacia. Oh, shoot. I should have talked to her. I guess it's still loading. So this game's obviously very laggy, from what I can tell. Um, okay. Lily, I can't even get to Balzacia to see my father because the guards of the Eastern Passage won't let anyone through. If you manage to make your way to Balzacia, I'm sure you'll find Krausis in the castle. Journey to Balzacia. Oh, that was what that one was. So I've got to go east. Um, so let's double check, double check the quest book. Make your way eastern passage. All right, so we got to go. We got to find the eastern passage. I wonder if that's down here. And our guard. East is going to be. this way. Before I go out there, I should do a side quest. I really should. I need to get my um, health points back up. I need to get enough gold to, so I can buy a, um, a health potion. I think this guy had a quest available. Nope. Let's see who had a quest. I think the people in here have a quest. In the town hall, the mayor. Mr. Mayor, how are you today? Yes, available quests. Spider Venom. Let's see what this is. The tree spider population has exploded lately, and with more and more people getting bitten, we're running low on anti venom. Um, what else do I have to say? Anti venom sacks from the tree spiders found just outside of town. Uh. And fill this vial. We can use it to make more anti-venom. Received venom vial. All right. So let's check the quest book again. And we got to decide what we're gonna do. Spider venom. Let's see. If oh, if you can gather five venom sacks from the tree spiders found just outside of town, we filled this vial. Yeah, I'm gonna need some more experience points to do that. I don't want to go outside get beaten up again. I only have six health points. Let's see what his other quest is. The Bandit Menace. I've lived in Enter all my life and I'm not about to see it destroyed by bandits. I've put up a bounty on Ray Ray Ragor, the Bandit King. His lair lies in the cave on the northwestern peninsula. Slay him and the reward is yours. I will accept that quest anyway. Um... But I won't do it right now. So let's see. Oh, how did you? How are you walking? Oh, you can go through the trees. Oh, maybe this is where I find the spider venom. Ah. Ah, uh -huh, this is very cool. Let's go check this chest. Oh, sweet. I got through the forest. Thank you, dude. What is your name? Heliot. You taught me I can walk on trees. Lester opens the chest. Obtains health potion. Yes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use that now because I really, really need the health. So, inventory. Health potion. What happens if I press uh, A? No. Use. 19 out of 19. Perfect. All right. So, I assume if I walk through this tree forest here, I will be able to find some spiders. Can I get over that way? Hmm. The spider venom quest? That's what I'm trying to do here. Let's see. Spider venom. Uh, let's see. I guess I think he said it was just outside town, though. Fill this vial. 
We can use it to make more anti -venom. Interesting. Let's go. I want to go talk to that Mildred lady again and see what her quest was all about. Because I know she had a quest. Um, and maybe I can help her and get some experience points for this. Oh boy, now I'm lagging. No, no, come here. There we go. So. Mildred. A slippery situation. Defrosting my cellar will require a powerful spell. Would you be so kind as to go downstairs and fetch my witch's orb so that I don't catch my death of cold? I would love to help you out. Absolutely. Alright, so let's go downstairs and help her. Oh wow, so this is her cellar, which is all frozen over. And it looks like a game where I have to okay, get to the chest here. Hmm. Let's try this. Uh oh. Don't lag on me now. So you've got to. It's one of these games where you have to. It's like a puzzle. You have to figure out the right way to go so that I end up. How am I even going to get there? Let's see. I want to be. Oh, I've got to get across to here, hit this one, and then go up. So I've got to find. I've got to get stuck on this one. So how can I do that? I've got to get. Hmm. Let's try this. And then we'll go backwards. Like I know what I need to do. Ah. Uh, wait. If I go down. Over, maybe? Nope. I think I just messed it up. Uh, these are always very hard. I never liked these very much. So go over here, go across. Hmm. Go down, go up, go over, go down. This should work. I have a good feeling about this. Down, over. And then up, and then over, and then down. Oh, <laughs> we're going in circles here. Wait, what if I go back this way? Um, down, up. This is just a sad state of affairs. I really want to do this quest though. This quest doesn't involve any any bad guys, so it's. Uh, it seems like it'd be easier than the rest of them. I don't, I don't know if that's an accurate thing to say. Because I'm clearly having a difficult time. Alright, here, come on. So if I do this... If I go down... Ugh. This is frustrating. No, I need... Hmm. Puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. Well, let's see. I'll pause the video here, and uh, I'll come back when I'm about to defeat it. So, be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back, and I think I figured out how to defeat this little ice world here. So... What we're going to need to do is, um, got to get up here. Now, um, I did play for just a quick sec while I had the recording paused, and the game runs a lot better when I'm not recording it. So, just for you guys out there that are looking to play it, um, it does run better, um, when you're not trying to record the screen. All right, so I know I, I, can, I can do this, I can do this, I got this. All right. I have to get to yes now how to do it go left go left that way come on on a server lag it seems huh 
Come on. There we go. Go down. <laughs> Over to the right. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on, Lester. Come on, boy. There you go. All right. Then we go up. Come on. This way to the left. Down. Wow, this is painful. I just want to get this chest and get out of here, and then we'll end the episode. I may record this in Fraps, this series in Fraps. Uh, and I will upload those in 480p, uh, only because I think Fraps is probably going to be better with this program um, than uh, Camtasia is. So I might be doing that uh, just for just so that. It runs a lot better and the videos turn out better and not as laggy like this for you guys. So I made it. We opened the chest. Press tab. Come on. Um, okay. There we go. There's the sound at least. Now show the message. Wow, this is painful. Yeah, we're going to end this video as soon as this is done. And uh, I'll experiment with fraps and see how that turns out. Hopefully it's better. Because this is really bad. Okay, so I paused the video again real quick and um, brought it back now because uh, it was taking a really long time. But as you can see, there's a lot of discontent in the uh, server chat over here. So, curse you lag. Wow, that's like it's horrible. Oh, that was me. Lester said that, <laughs> um, et cetera, et cetera. So um, if you're going to play this game, just know there might be a little lag associated with it. But I did open the chest, and I got Mildred's Orb. So if I open up my inventory here, I, as you see, I have Mildred's Orb. And if we click on that, it says it's a level, wo level one soul bound. It has an aura of ominous power. So let's go upstairs and take this back to her and complete this quest. Oh, hello, man. How are you? What is your name? Volan, level three ranger. All right, so we're back upstairs here in Mildred's house, and let's uh, let's go talk to her and give her the orb that we just collected from her ice cellar basement thing. All right, lag. Come on. So ready to end this video. There we go. Uh, let's see. It's the brief situation. Click there. Thank you, my dear. Even using my orb, it will take some time to thaw things out down there. In the meantime, I have another job for you. Finish. Receive ten gold. Uh, mouse in the house. The next quest. It seems that my apprentice doesn't even make for a very good cat. There is a dreadful little mouse that lives in my wall, but she refuses to eat it for me. I guess that'll I guess that we'll just have to send you down there to get the job done. Talk to my apprentice and she'll cast a spell that will shrink you down to size. Alright guys, well in episode two we will do this quest, uh, mouse in the house. Please leave comments, um and uh let me know if you guys like the series. Um I will be obviously continuing the Minecraft files. Um, I will be continuing the crazy files. This doesn't mean that I'm doing other things or whatever. It's just I found another game and I want to just show it, show it to you guys and see what it's all about. So um, we'll get out of here now and sign off. But uh, stay tuned because uh, later tonight we're going to have another episode of the Minecraft files up. And uh, that will be episode 40 of the Minecraft files. So it's pretty, pretty crazy. We've gotten 40 episodes done already. Uh, make sure you guys like this video, comment, uh, rate and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, leave me a comment in the uh, the channel uh, on my channel, and uh, make sure you check out my website www.chimneystift11.com. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.